Hey, everybody. It's Tuesday, and it is time for Kids Talk Tuesdays. We have a few minutes, but um, as I have been doing lately, and which has been successful, going live a little bit early to give you time to share, to give you time to um, grab your kids, um, and prepare for this amazing evening. Um, so if you'll take the next couple of moments and go ahead and share this video, you can even host a watch party. I will share it as well. We start at exactly six. So you're just in time and thank you for tuning in. Let me see if I can tell. Yes, it says that I am live on Facebook. Yay, it connected. Check. Let me see. Let me share to a few groups. We're so excited. We're so excited about um, tonight's show. We're excited about our guest on this evening. We're excited about you. Hope you had a great day. Let us know real quick, how was your day? Put it in the comments. How was your day today? And where are you watching from? While I share this to a few groups. I know you can't share there. We have two minutes, so go ahead, share, 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 host the watch party, invite, invite your friends, especially those with young children. We love um, the fact that these kids that are on every Tuesday get to inspire other kids, so don't let yours miss out. I'm getting a little bit faster with um hmm. All right, it's 5.59. We have exactly one minute before we get the show started. Thank you for tuning in. It is six o'clock, so we are ready to rock. I so corny. <laughs> no, but um, thank you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. It is Tuesday. It is 6 p.m., and we are live on Facebook with Kids Talk Tuesdays. I am your host, Manisha King, and it is a pleasure to come into your homes or wherever you are. And if you replay this, um, it may be a different time where you are. Um, no matter what, we are excited. We're glad to have you. Um, we want to, as always, thank our supporters. There are so many um, of you that <clears throat> watch every week or even catch the replay on our YouTube channel. And we are so grateful for you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for uh, motivating and encouraging these young kid authors and entrepreneurs. Aren't they just darling? They're so amazing to me. And every week I get the privilege to interview these wonderful children on this show. So let's talk about Kids Talk, uh, kids talk Tuesdays really quickly before we um, invite our guests in this evening. Kids Talk Tuesdays is a platform for kids that are authors and kid entrepreneurs to use their voices in a positive manner to inspire the world. 
we have provided this as an opportunity for them to promote their books as well as their businesses. Yes, we have kids that are business owners and that are on their way to being young millionaires and we love it. We're excited about it. We thank all of the families that allow their children to take part in this. And every week, um, we share the joys with you of what your young person is doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we are actually, this is sponsored or brought to you by the King's Press Publishing Company. What is King's Press Publishing? So the King's Press Publishing is a family owned business owned by myself, my husband and our three boys. We have been operating for about two years now. And we help authors like these kid authors and adult authors get their stories told, published. We have um, pre-publishing consulting services. Um, if you need a ghostwriter, uh, we also take you from the take you through the publishing. I can't speak tonight. Process. It's a lot of P's. I was getting ready to say. We take you through the publishing process from A to Z. So wherever you're at, if that means that you can't find where to start, and you know you have this wonderful idea, you need some structure, you need someone to you know get your um, Get, get your book formatted properly and things. We do all of those things for you. So that is the gist of King's Press Publishing. And we're also concerned about um, children and literacy, growing in literacy, um, teaching, excuse me, <coughs> literacy skills, literacy development. So with that being said, I also do a show on Saturdays um, that is called Read Along with children's book author, Manisha King. And that is promoting all kinds of reading development skills, such as making inferences, um, character development, um, identifying characters, understanding cause and effect, building your vocabulary, making inferences, all of those things. So we are just all about um, reading, writing, learning, growing, and development. So if you have, um, if you know any kid authors or any entrepreneurs that you would like to send our way, um, the ways you can get in touch with us, I usually say this at the end of the show, but I'm saying it today at the beginning so that in case we lose you by the end and hopefully you'll stick around and you have your kids watching, but you can get in touch with us at kingspresspublishing.com. And then also we're on Facebook and Instagram at The King's Press LLC. Again, that's The King's Press LLC. And this is my personal page, Manisha King, which I stream from because it works a lot better. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And we would love to service you. Um, anything you have going on in the area of writing, literacy, um, we would love to connect with you. So let's move into tonight. So tonight we have a fabulous young lady full of energy excitement she is so young and sweet and she has written a few books and you get to learn about her and her books tonight and we present to you this evening none other than author Janae Ratcliffe let me bring her in she is in the waiting room waiting patiently Janae Here she is. Hi, Janae. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. You look so excited. You ready to go? I am. Yes. I love it. I love it. Thank you once again for being here with me tonight. It is a privilege and an honor. No problem. <laughs> So Janae, why don't you take a moment and tell our audience who you are? Okay. Well, my name is Janelia Ratcliffe. I'm seven years old. I go to Brookhaven Elementary School. Um, I was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I am, um, I am in Killeen, Texas, and I am a member of Liberty Christian Church. Awesome. That was a great introduction, Janae. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're so welcome. That is so many um, hats that you're wearing. And let's talk about you as an author. So you're an author. How many books have you written? Um, I have written two. Two books. That is phenomenal. And you're seven years old. 
Yes, ma'am. Wow. What is the title of your books? Well, the first one is called The Book Club. The Book Club. I love your uh, cover. Thank you. Yes. And the second one is called Traveling with May. Traveling with May. Good. That's a cute cover, too. You have some Thank really good you. book covers. <laughs> Thank so, you. how excited are you to be a young author? I'm very excited, especially for only the age of seven. And me only been doing this for about a year now. It's like crazy. <laughs> it is, I bet it is crazy. <laughs> So tell us some of the things that you have done with your books. Have you um, gone places and talked about your books? Um, not lately, but I have been a few places last year. Last year, but you've been doing some interviewing, right? Yes, ma'am. Do you enjoy that? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Awesome. So let's talk about um, the first book you showed us, the book club. Um, what was the inspiration behind that book? What is it? What's the book about? Well, the inspiration it is uh, the book is about a girl, which is me, overcoming her fears and her anxiety. Wow. So you talk about overcoming your fears and anxiety. Now, is it based off of a true story? Um, well, some of it is true. Some of it is not. Like um, in one part of the book, I was scared to go into the book club. And at one part of the book, I hid under a table. If I hid under a table in my school, then I would probably get in trouble. <laughs> That makes sense. So you use some true events, but you also kind of um, made them really um, over exaggerated, which is smart so <laughs> that your audience can kind of get cool pictures and fun things um, to imagine while they're reading, huh? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. That is very smart, Janae. So um, did you have a lot of fun writing that book or would you say it was difficult um, it was really fun. I got to work with my mom and um, even when I wasn't, I would always ask her every now and then, uh, how do you spell this? Or did I spell it right? Or does this sentence make sense every now and then? That is so good. I'm so proud of you, Janae. Thank you. You're welcome. You're doing so good. And I can tell you're just a little bubbling, little ball of energy. <laughs> so how about sometimes when you get ideas to write um, new books? Like, what do you do? Um, well, I always carry paper on me, like in case I get any ideas while I'm on the road. But what I do is I write it down. Uh, and that's basically the same thing I do with my titles. I just make a little rough draft. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's just what I do. I write it down. That is really good. Do you enjoy writing? Yes, ma'am. Writing is actually one of my favorite hobbies. Oh, <laughs> when did you first notice that like, I think I want to write a book. When did you first think about that? Well, actually I won a scholarship to go to CTC in a writing and publishing class. And when I went, I was like, wait, what are we even supposed to do here? <laughs> so probably about two or three days into the class and my teacher, Miss Erin Hugley, shout out to her. She actually had just announced that we were going to start writing books. And I was like, huh, I don't even know how to write a book. And she was like, well, that is why I'm here. And that is how I came up with the book club. That is a great story. And I love that you shouted out your teacher. How cool is that? <laughs> You're like a little pro there. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. So um, thank you for sharing that with us. Now let's talk about your second book, Travel with Nay, Traveling with Nay. Where did you travel in that book? Well, I traveled to Louisiana, I traveled to Georgia, and I traveled to Virginia. 
Awesome. So um, tell us a little bit about what's in that book. I know it's probably mentioning some of the places that you travel, but if we were to read it, what, were, what are some of the things we would find in there? Um, you would find that in the beginning, I was talking about how my mom's always doing invoices, busy and working. And um, I was also playing with my, uh, my cousins and my little brother. In the middle, it was talking about how I just went to go visit Georgia and I went to go see my aunt, my two cousins and my sister. And at the end, it talks about how my grandma, she always does a festival every August 3rd and all of my family members that I went to go visit came. Wow, that's pretty cool. So you share a lot of your memories in that book. Yes, ma'am. That's going to help you hold on to those for a lifetime. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That is cool. So looking at the comments, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Someone says, hey, Hi. Mateo watching from Clinton, Maryland. <laughs> Hi. And then someone says, um, this is Drea. She says, yay, Neen. <laughs> And then um, Nakia says, I love her voice. <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. I love your voice too. It is so Thank cute. You. you can do some <laughs> little voiceovers for some of these cartoons out here. <laughs> so um, let's talk about, we, we, you got a chance to share with us what the two of your books are about. And we are so um, excited about your books and what you have written in them and the fact that you are just so pumped up to share them and talk about them and um, all of your adventures that you've experienced. And I'm glad that you took the opportunity to write those down because like I said, you can, it's going to help you, you know, later on in life when you think about um, some of the places you went, some of the experiences you had, you have the pri privilege of being able to just pick up a book because sometimes we get old and we forget. <laughs> and so I'm sitting here and sometimes I wish sometimes I would like write in my journal or things like what did I do like what happened what was that experience like you know parents may tell me some of the things that I've done and I'm like oh I wish I could remember that but you have it in your book yes um I remember one of the times my mom she had posted on my you um not my youtube my Facebook, go check it out at Young Author Janae. She had posted a video of me when I was three receiving some books. And I was like, man, I wish I still remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so cool. So she has a video of it. So you're just tracking, which is great. That's why I love social media now because it reminds us of so many memories and things that we've done that we probably forgot. And now you got those videos, you have your books and it is just wonderful. So I'm glad that your mom is helping you with this. Shout out to her. And I love that you told us what your author's page is. Can you share that again? Um, yes, ma'am. It is my Facebook page at Young Author Janae. You can also go visit my YouTube page also at Young Author Janae. Young Author Janae. I love it, guys. Make sure we are supporting Young Author Janae. Follow her. Purchase her books. Continue to pour into this young lady. She is a shining star. I just wish I could just hug you. Let's just give a virtual hug. A virtual. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Um, someone else is watching Autumn. She says she's amazing. Thank you. Yes, you are. You are truly amazing. So let's talk a little bit more um, about what's your favorite part of being a kid author, Janae? Wow, there's so many things, but I think it's the support that my family, my friends, my fans, and uh, all of those people that are out there watching me or that believe me give me a whole bunch of support it's just it's very um what's the word it's very exciting to know that at least some people in the world believe in me 
Yes, that is that is phenomenal. I'm glad you recognize that, and I'm so happy that you feel that support and that love because that is very important in every young child's life. And that's one of the reasons why we decided to um, have this platform because we want people to see, be exposed to what you all are doing and to share and just pour out love to you and make you feel special because you really are. Thank you. And you deserve it. You know, every child using their voice, doing positive things, um, following inspirations, you know, it's true. It truly should be recognized. And so I'm glad that that is your favorite. I'm excited to hear that, that you just recognize the love and the support in your life. Who's your favorite supporter? Wow. I have so many. Again, a lot of my family support me a whole bunch but I feel like it is my mom because she's always there to me. She's always next to me. And even when something big is coming up and I'm like, no, I can't do this. And she was like, yes, you can. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm so happy. That's so good to hear. I love how you answered that. You know, there's so many. That's so good. But mom is the mom is the most favorite. And that's great. Um, I know that she's so proud of you. Um, all of your family and your friends, and like you said, your fans. And um, hopefully you will just have many, many more fans even after tonight and so much more support because that is definitely what you deserve. So um, let me ask you this question. Um, is there anything that you enjoy the least about being a kid author? I'm going to be completely honest, not really. I don't um, not like anything because I'm still young and I'm still in that learning process. That is so good. That's such a good answer. You have so much more to learn and get out of it. So why would you not like anything? <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm happy that you're open to growing and you're mindful of the fact that you got a long way to go with just, you know, opportunities and blessings and great things happening for you. So who can get bored with all of that work to do, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, you don't have time for that. So great. Um, Let's see. So we talked about um, your books. We talked about um, what's in your books and then also what you enjoy about being an author. Let me ask you this. During your writing process, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Well, first, when I get the ideas, I work on my title and then I will write my, not write, draw my front cover. And then I will work on the pages and draw what I want on the pages. And then I transfer it to the computer. And then um, I add the little like circle things. I forgot the, what they're called, but I add these uh, half circle things. And I just say uh, what I want on that page, what a uh, picture. Okay, awesome. So you're even designing the images as well. Yes, ma'am. Great. So you're not just writing, you're also illustrating. Yes, ma'am. That's pretty cool. So you can say, this is what I like and what I want in my book. <laughs> Does your illustrator follow you? Yes. And put those things in there? Yes, ma'am. That's great. That is wonderful. So kudos to you. <laughs> um, so much, so much talent. We love it. Um Let's see, what's next? What's coming up for Janae, author Janae? What are you working on next? Well, I'm working on my um, my third book. I want it to be a little collab, a part to Traveling with Slay, and I want to make it a part two. Um, and then I'm coming out with a little tote bag. Okay. And I'm thinking... Uh, after the tote bag because I know the tote bag is going to come out sometime in the winter 
So after the tote bag, I'm probably going to do some school items such as, um, you know, the pencils. They have these little, uh huh, the website. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some pencils. I know I'm going to do a backpack and all of that. Awesome. You're a little visionary. <laughs> yes. You. Way to scale this, Janae. I love it. Pencils with your website, the backpack, the tote bag, everything <laughs> author Janae, right? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. So um, again, go to her page, follow her. So when these products come out, you can be the first to grab them and show her that you are behind her 100%. You support everything that she's doing. What are some of the things that you hope to do, Janae, that I know we've been in quarantine and we haven't really got a chance to get out much and things. What are some of the things that you're just like, wow, I really would like to do that? Well, um, about last week, I was talking to my dad, and I was like, for my 10th book, I want to go to all of these places. I want to go to Disneyland. I want to go to Legoland. I want to go to SeaWorld. And I was like, I'm going to take a whole month off just to go all of those places. And I'm at least going to spend about a week um, at each place. And I'm going to spend two weeks at the one that I like most. All right, girl, you got it all planned out. <laughs> That's good. You have to have fun while you're working. So why not go ahead and travel and then write those books about your traveling experiences? Yes, ma'am. Very smart. I love it. So what's dad say about that? He was like, well, he could probably do that, but he doesn't know about SeaWorld because there's a lot of animals there, there's a lot of water there, and if I decide to wear one of my new uh, piece of clothing and I get them wet, and yeah, I'm going to have to change. Yeah, I wonder if Shamu's still there. I remember when I was a little girl, there was this big whale named Shamu at, um, I'm probably telling my age, but it was at SeaWorld. SeaWorld was a fun place, amazing. I might even go to SeaWorld first. Mm -hmm. Then I might go to Disneyland because I love Disney. I know almost every single night I would stay up Till like 10 o'clock just watching Disney. Wow. Who's your favorite Disney character? Do you have one? Ooh. Well, I can't watch them anymore, but I try to watch them on Netflix. I love Mickey Mouse. It's like Mickey my Mouse. I love Mickey Mouse. Awesome. I remember Mickey Mouse. M-I-C-E-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> awesome so cool um Janae the next question I have for you we talked about so many things and you're such an inspiration to many kids what is some advice that you would give to young children such as your age or older um I would say stay positive be positive um think big dream big, follow your dreams. You're never too old or young to do anything you like, as such as write a book. Um, dream big, never stop dreaming, and stay positive. I love that. Yay. Great. Dream big. Be positive. I love it. Those are very important um, words to live by. It will get you or take you a long way. And I'm sure it's doing that for you now. Yes, ma'am. So thank you for sharing that. Now, um, what we're going to do, we talked about what's coming up for you. We know more about your books and your writing process. Um, what we didn't find out yet is about the young girl, the young seven-year-old, Janae. I'm going to give you some categories, and you tell us what are your favorite in these categories. We know that you love Mickey Mouse. So now I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue? <laughs> 
I love, I love it. Great. How about what's your favorite toy? If I had to pick one, it would probably be LOL dolls. All right, cool. Now, other than your book, what's your favorite book? Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Green <laughs> Eggs and Ham. I will not eat them in a house. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nor with a mouth. Not with the fox in our box. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I like that book. I mean, that's a, such a classic. My kids still have Dr. Seuss books around here. Actually, in fact, my eight-year-old son was just reading one today. It wasn't Green Eggs and Ham, and I don't remember the title, so I'm not getting ready to make it up, but he was just reading one of those books. Those are pretty cool. I like how they rhyme and the alliteration and things in there. So cool. How about your favorite food? Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> All right. What about your favorite hobby? Um, I would say besides reading, writing, and spending time with my family, it's eating. <laughs> eating. <laughs> can you eat a lot? Yes. I bet you can. I could probably eat like two whole pizza boxes and not gain any weight. Wow, it's always the little tiny people that can eat so much and don't <laughs> gain any weight. <laughs> so cool. Um, my kids love eating too. In fact, they eat everything in my refrigerator and my cabinets. And I find myself going to the store probably like every week. It drives me up the wall. Do you, do you have your parents shop a lot? Um, well, my mom, she shops every other week only okay. because... My little brother eats up almost all the food in the house. Yeah. And um, while my mom is at work, we have to go across the street to do our schoolwork, and she sends food over there. Okay, cool. So uh, maybe it's just a boy thing, too, that they just eat you out of house and home, because I have three, three of them, and we can't keep anything in this house. <laughs> I saw your face. That was so cute. All right, so favorite, who do you, who's your favorite person to spend time with? I don't want to say my family because I have a lot of people in my family, but mostly my big cousin. Your big cousin. What did you learn from your big cousin? A lot of things, actually. She taught me how to do multiplication. Mm -hmm. She taught me how to write. She taught me how to read. She taught me how to do math, actually. Uh, she taught me how to count money. She teaches me a lot of things. Awesome. So that's a great big cousin to hang around with and to um, learn from. I'm excited. I thank your cousin for pouring into you. Mentors are great. Older family members that help us out and teach us new things. Great things, positive things. I'm so excited to hear that. I love your your uh, your tribe that you have around you. Thank you. That's why you're so great, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, I love it. All right, so um, Janae, before we close out, I always like to ask the kid authors and entrepreneurs if there's something that I didn't ask, if there's something that you wish um, that you got a chance to talk about or to say, now would be the time that you share your last comments or information with the audience. Is there anything you'd like to share? Well, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. I want to thank you for bringing me on. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. You did such a great job. You have a great personality. I know many people are going to want you to come and be a part of what they're doing because you're just a little ball of sunshine. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I was, remember yesterday, I wasn't feeling so good and I got on that camera to meet you and you just made me feel so much better. And even today being with you, I'm just like really lifted. So that's the power of, like you said, positivity, smiling and just being a great person. Thank you. 
You're welcome. You keep being great. You keep encouraging other kids. You keep inspiring people all around you. Stay positive. Just as you said, you give your light and share love with everybody that you possibly can. Yes, ma'am. I will. You know that they have been in the presence of author Janae. <laughs> have a fabulous night. Okay. Thank you. You too. Have a fabulous night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Awesome, 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 awesome. Wasn't she just great? Oh, I love her little spirit. I love the joy that she just, um, that's just eluding from her. It's so great. I'm so happy to hear about the fact that she knows that people are supporting her. You know, that shows that she's not taking people and things for granted. She is aware that people are in her corner and they love her. She says she has her fans. <laughs> she has her friends. She has her family. And it's just great. Um, I love that, you know, she's so good at interviewing. And also, um, you know, she was just able to explain everything that she was doing from her writing process to the inspiration behind her book to what's next. And she's seven years old, y'all. I love it. You could tell people are working with her and um, just really developing her. And she just has a natural gift. Um, I, I just love it. So I hope that you were encouraged. I hope that you were inspired. I really do hope that you will share in the comments what you enjoyed most about Janae's interview. Um, I do hope that you will support her. I hope that you will follow her. She said it is author Janae. She's author Janae on Facebook as well as Instagram. So please go to her pages and follow her, support her. She has some products that will be coming out soon. Um, but in the meantime, you can purchase her books. Maybe you would like to um, invite her out to speak or even another opportunity to be interviewed. Um, we just love just allowing these children to shine. And so if you can even, um, connect with her and provide an opportunity, that would be great. So again, we thank you for your time tonight. We thank you for continuing to follow us. Share this video if you haven't yet so that others can see, and especially kids, that they will be inspired. Because in the times that we're living in, there's so many reasons that the kids can be bored. There's so many um, opportunities, or not opportunities, but there's so many things going on right now that the, that can get them down and help them not to be motivated but if they can watch things like you know little children that are just out here getting it like making things happen whether it is um, growing and developing a business whether it is writing a book whether it is just coming up with something new creating um, new products and things I think that it will light a fire up under them as well. So I really want as many children to watch Kids Talk Tuesdays as possible. And the beautiful thing about it is it doesn't just happen here at six o'clock, excuse me, because it's live, you can rewatch it or replay it. And then also I share on our YouTube channel, our YouTube channel is the King's Press. So there is limited, I mean, limitless opportunities <laughs> to watch it. So find a family, find a few that you can invite and that you can um, copy this link and share with or just share the video. And let's continue to come back and let's continue to love on these children. Let's continue to um, encourage them. Let's continue to cheer them on, push them out there and be a part of their greatness. They deserve it. So even in your own life, think about ways that you can lift someone up during these times. How can you be a positive um, inspiration for them, whether it's a smile, whether it's a um, just a note telling them that you're thinking about them. Um, if you can, you know, send someone a gift in the mail or something, just any creative thing that can help people feel better during this time, I'm sure they would appreciate it. I see so much negativity on social media where people are falling out, people are no longer doing people. <laughs> 
People are no longer connecting. 2020 done disrupted some stuff, y'all. But how about 2020 as we're getting ready? Um, you know, it's coming to the end. But how about just reconnecting, um, being refueled, reconciling? How about um, loving? How about helping other people become their best selves as you become your best self? So... Why don't you take that challenge? That is my challenge to you. And I hope that um, you will continue to love others, continue to be a light and come back and join us on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live. Join me on Saturdays on the King's Press LLC Facebook page for Read Along with Children's Book Author, Manisha King. And then check out some of the things we're doing on kingspresspublishing.com. We are here to help you. We are here to be an advocate and support you in any way that we can. So if so, hit us up. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.